Hi, how's it going? Well, today I have a factory smoke from Drew Estate. And this is the Sun Grown. Well, it's got a little bit of a sweet and spicy aroma. A little bit of barnyard. Very loose draw, wow. It's a very light feeling cigar. Um, I would expect for a cigar this size to be a lot heavier. It's a light pack, I guess. A very light body. It's got a nuttiness to it. Um, Kind of like a dryness, like a leather, leatheriness. Not much sweetness to it. I thought there was going to be more than that. Um... It's good. It's dry. It's got a dryness to it that I wasn't quite expecting. Um, kind of the way like a wine can be dry. So this is a Nicaraguan cigar in origin. The wrapper is a sun-grown Habano. The binder and the filler are Indonesian which I'm not sure I've ever smoked Indonesian tobacco before, so this might be the first time. Um, the description of the flavors on Cigars.com says coffee, dried fruit, creamy leather, and spice. Uh, leather, yes. I don't understand fruit being anywhere near this. Uh, nothing fruity to me at all about this. Um, creamy leather. Sure, okay. Uh, the smoke is creamy. It's a creamy smoke. Um, it's not harsh. There's, It's actually pretty easy going. So... So there is a creaminess to the smoke. Uh, I can I can agree with that. Um, there's really no harshness to this, which I was a little afraid. Uh, this was a fairly cheap cigar, so it seems to be a fairly quick burning cigar. Uh, I think I'm only maybe ten minutes in. It's a light pack. Um, it's gonna kind of burn a little quicker, I guess. So, coffee, dry fruit, creamy leather, and spice. There is a, a, there's a little bit of a spiciness to it. There's an earthiness. Um, I'm probably going to smoke quite a bit of this and then come back. I might actually watch like a whole episode of Star Trek and then come back and tell you how it's going, if there's anything different or not. Well, I am about 35, 40 minutes in. Not quite to the halfway mark, but just about. And I uh, just wanted to stop in and give you some thoughts. Um, the flavors have developed a little bit. Um, the leatheriness of it has been basically the prominent flavor. The creamy smoke has been very enjoyable. It's smooth. Uh, it's really easy going. This is a very easy going cigar. Um, there has been a little bit of uh, spicy oiliness to this one. Uh, it's got a nice spice. It's very pleasant on the retro hill. Um, still, uh, let's see, what was it? Dry fruit. I'm not. St I'm still not getting any dry fruit out of this. I'd say creamy leather is a pretty good way to describe this. Um, creamy, spicy leather. Uh, it's got a dryness to it. it uh, it's not terribly strong. It's about a medium strength. A 
a little bit of a toasty, toasty earthy. So this was a bundle of cigars that I bought without really knowing anything about it. I did not look at any reviews or anything like that. Um, I know the Drew Estate name. It's a respected name. Um, I think even their cheapest cigar is going to be a well-constructed cigar. So I trusted the name Drew Estate. Um, you know, construction-wise, you know, it's going to be good. So I bought the bundle without knowing anything about it. Just kind of uh, the Drew Estate name was enough to give me the confidence to go ahead and buy it. It was under 40 bucks for a bundle of 25, I think it was. And it's a pretty good deal for this cigar. 25 of these for under 40 bucks. That's a good deal. So the price is a great deal. The flavor is on point. The construction is great. I've been smoking this for 45 minutes now, and the ash came off once. Um, pretty well constructed cigar. So the draw is very loose. Um, there's hardly any resistance at all when you take a hit off of this. I don't know if it's just this cigar or if it's going to be every one of them. So I am used to smoking a denser cigar than this. This is a very light pack and you can feel the weight of it is very light compared to another cigar of its size. It's a little unusual for me um, for the cigars that I normally smoke but after you smoke a few of these it probably uh, just comes second nature. So the flavor, the construction, the price, I'm totally happy with this. Uh, for getting a two hour smoke for under two dollars <laughs> Come on, you can't beat that, honestly. I mean, it's a pleasant smoke. It's a nice, medium, uh, and easygoing, flavorful, relaxing smoke. So, there you go. I'm going to watch another episode of Star Trek, and then I'll come back. Well, I'm just about at the end of my factory smoke here. Uh, I've enjoyed it. It's been a good smoke. Um, it's nice and relaxing. It's been pleasant. Uh, I never did taste any dried fruit, but uh, <laughs> that's how it goes with a lot of these. So a creamy smoke, leathery flavor with some spice, um, earthiness, uh, tasted a little bit of coffee every now and then. I uh, never got any dry fruits out of it. Um, just basically a smooth, spicy, earthy leather. So that's how I would describe this one. So, I would recommend it. If you can get a hold of a bundle of these, go ahead and grab them. So, there is my review on the Factory Smokes by Drew Estate, Sun Grown. I uh, thank you for joining me and keeping me company, and I will see you next time.